fellows uh thank you and uh, may god bless you once again for joining me on africa my heritage tv this as usual is your boy and your host Kwame, the african child please if this is your first time on this uh, wonderful platform don't forget to hit on the subscription button to become part of uh, this great platform and please after subscribing kindly also hit on the notification bell icon to enable you to receive a late on all new videos that we are going to upload on this platform please under this same video that you are also watching right now you are going to see a like button please hit on the like button if this video is okay for you if the content is pleasing you do so to like it to trigger the youtube algorithm in promoting this particular video further and please you are also going to see the comment button with the use of the comment button you the cherished viewer and subscriber can send your messages can send your uh, opinions can send your comments and suggestions suggestions to me to enable me to improve on the content delivery for you on this platform mind you africa my heritage tv is intentionally and deliberately making sure that all the videos that we will be uploading on this platform is going to educate our cherished viewers is going to entertain them and is going to keep them informed we discourage an instance and experience whereby after spending your expensive data to watch our video spending your quality and precious time to watch our video you felt the video was not worth it, so you showed your dislike and this uh displeasure to the video so in preventing such an experience from happening to you and me is the reason why i'm begging and pleading on your behalf with the greatest of respect to you to allow your comments and suggestions to flow to me to enable me to improve on the good content for you on this platform thank you and may god bless you that you are going to do that so today i'm going to share with you a very wonderful experience that i had in america with respect to the uh, birth of my my son see uh my, my, my son uh, milwaukee uh is going to be uh six months old uh come the uh 17th of february so he'll be uh six months old uh on the 17th of february i'm talking about like this month uh, he'll be uh six years old on the 17th uh he was uh he was born on the uh august uh 17th uh 2021 he was born on the august 17 2021 and uh i we went through a lot of experience and uh, nostalgic, uh, nostalgically uh, uh recalling such an event and such an experience and just opposing or comparing it to the experience that we have in ghana or the experience that i've also witnessed in ghana uh it breaks my heart and it makes me uh fall down in tears so i decided to maybe share this experience with my uh, cherished viewers and subscribers and i believe with this great platform too uh, i know most of the uh, politicians in ghana most of the people most of the people with authority and power in ghana may also come to watch videos like this so that they can also improve on the system that we have in ghana so because back in ghana i know it has become like a public knowledge that women that are pregnant women in labor would go to the hospitals and there are no labor bed for them to even lie on or lay only to feel comfortable to even uh, deliver their baby it even goes to an extent of some women even sleeping on the bare floor they would just split on the floor uh, with a cloth and they would just sleep on the cloth on, on the cloth on the floor uh, as hard as the the floor is they will be sleeping on the floor and at the same time as they are sleeping on this bare floor they have to also push or deliver their baby in this uh awful uh, experience and circumstances and as a Ghanaian, as a typically african it breaks my heart because mind you i've had an occasion uh witnessing uh, almost about three incidents like this i've been to the uh many labor wars in many of the Ghanaian hospitals especially in my own region of bono region uh the capital city of sunyane i've been to other hosp hospitals that you, you will see women in labor panicking always like yearning always like screaming always like crying because of the uh hardship and the uh, condition of uh delivering services they have to go through before they can uh, finally bring forth their baby i mean it, it, it is so sad it, it breaks my heart and it makes me wonder uh why why we have to treat our precious women and the newborns like this in this 21st century so with, with with an experience like this i want to do this video to also tell the ghanaian leaders to tell the ghanaian politicians to tell people with power and authority in ghana how 
me as an ordinary Ghanaian who has been able to immigrate to America successfully. And uh, I've married here, I have a, a wife uh, who is uh, a permanent resident, who is a green card holder, and we gave birth in America here. So I just want to tell them the experience that I went through giving birth to my son, Milwaukee, and the experience most Ghanaian children and women are also going through so that they can improve on the assistance uh, of uh, delivery in our hospital so that women can also uh, feel, uh, feel, feel very comfortable. Mind you, any country that doesn't respect a woman, there is no way that country will develop. No country on the planet Earth will develop without respecting women. Women are foundations of any country. It is the women that are multiplying the population of the country. So if you uh, look down on your women, if you more treat your women, it's going to have adverse impact and effect on the country. And mind you, in the Western world, in a place like America, in other countries that I've been to, you don't joke with me. You don't joke with women. You don't joke with women. You don't mess up with women. You don't even, you shouldn't even have that thought of messing up with a woman. You don't try. The law is going to deal with you. I'm telling you, the law is going to deal with you. Let me tell you something about this country. You see, this country, there is a rank and the classification of people existing on this land. The priority, the priority that they give to uh, people living on this land, the first priority, listen to me carefully, the first priority goes to, or it goes for the children. The first priority is going for the children of the or, or the kids or babies. You can call it in any other you want. And the second priority goes for the women. So first is children or babies or kids. Second is women. And even the third is animals. The third is animals. And we, the men, we, we comes last. So we have children or babies or kids. We have women or girls or ladies, as you may call it. And the third is animals or like popular, we call it pets. In Ghana, we call them animals. Here, yeah, we call them pets. And the last is the men. So here, men are the least respected because we, we they know that men we have we are strength and we are not vulnerable. But women are vulnerable, children are vulnerable, and animals are vulnerable to play. So they don't joke with these three creations: children, babies, uh, women, and animals. And the last on the creation on the list of the priority for the creation is men. They don't even care about us. So in this country, if you're a guy, you have to always believe in your life very carefully. If you don't take care and you mess up with your woman, and there's an instance that has to do with the 911, that has to do with the police, I'm telling you, it's either you're going to jail or you're going to detention. So we, you have to be very careful. If you're living in the Western world like America, if you're living in the Western world like Canada, if you're living in a, like other place with advanced economy, with advanced health system, and you want to mess up with a lady or you want to mess up with a girl, you shouldn't try, you shouldn't dare do that, do that at all because the system is not going to allow you at all. So in this country, they prioritize children, they prioritize women, and they prioritize animals, and we men are the last creation for, uh, for with, with respect to the prioritization. So, I know how the system here is working, and I know how the system in my own country, Ghana, is working, and today I'm going to draw a very clear uh, distinction, I'm going to draw a very clear comparison to also know, to also alert my leaders, that I, as much as I'm saying, I know my leaders, they know it already, because mind you, 60% uh, of our leaders all prefer to uh, uh, fly their wives and their family. I'm talking about the nuclear and extended family to come to places like America, to come to places like Canada, to come to places like Germany, to come to places like other highly developed economies to go and give birth so that their children can also have the passport of that country. So I'm telling you, the parliamentarians that we are having in Ghana, the ministers that we are having in Ghana, 60% of them prefers flying their wives, prefers flying their family, extended family, flying their women to come to America to give bail so that their children can have access to the American passport, so that their children can also become American citizens, you see? And sometimes the many and the cost involved in flying their wars or in flying their family from Ghana to America to come and give birth so that their children can have the American citizenship or they can have access to the American passport. The cost, if I tell you, is going to amaze you. This same cost that they are incurring at the expense of the nation, at the expense of the poor Ghanaians who have been deprived of good and excellent uh, 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 excellency of care, they deprive, they deprive us of all these services and at, a, at our own expense, they use our money to come and pay you to the Americans for the American economy to keep on growing fast or a local economy keep on going backwards, keep on deteriorating. So it is so sad and it is so heartbreaking. And I'm, I'm telling you, it is a system that's uh, intentionally the Americans have developed it here. They, they call it birth tourism. If you don't know, I'm telling you, there's a birth tourism here. 
if you even go to China, we have many Chinese people that prefer to come to America to give birth so that their children can become citizens of America and have access to uh, the American passport. Many Asian countries, many African, uh, with respect to the African countries, I would say 54 of the African countries, they would prefer to have their children or to have their wife come and give birth in America so that their children can become American citizens so that they, that, that in Asia can also guarantee some legal status and some legal process to enable their wife and children to live here and to even uh, educate their children whilst they are impoverishing the African economy. Chinese people do that, the Asians do that, even the Europeans, they all do that. They all prefer to come to America here. So I know what I'm talking about and I'm going to back whatever I'm talking about with everything. So I'm going to tell you the experience that I went through with my wife when, when my wife was in labor and he was, uh, she was like getting ready or getting prepared to uh, deliver my son by name, Milwaukee, who, is, uh, who, who will be uh, six months old come the uh, 17th of this month. Uh, as I said, I have to time, I have to time all the videos I'm going to record because I wouldn't want a situation that will be recording a long video that is going to bore my channel with voice and subscribers. So I will pause here and bring you the part two where I will be going into details. Please thank you and may God bless you. And please, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to become partner to Africa, my heritage TV. And please, after subscribing, can you also hit on the notification bell icon to enable you to receive alerts on all new videos that we are going to upload. And please uh, bring forth your comments and suggestions to me. I recommend Africa, my heritage TV to all your friends, your wife, your children, all your family, your colleagues, and, and your, 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 your fellow students. Thank you and may God bless you that you are going to do that.